Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Advanced Wars. Last time we completed another two missions of field training and got introduced to air units. This time we're going on with air assault. This mission deals with air units, fuel consumption and anti-air anti defenses. Good news! Our start of mid-tank development team has succeeded. Hooray! Plus you've also been given some new and improved air anti-airs. Now let's discuss the current operation, Faro. An entire company has disappeared on its way to the front lines. That seems to be awfully common these days. It was made up mostly of mid-tanks and tanks, so this is serious. It may mean that they ran into an air squadron, complete with bomb... Nah, that's not possible. Forget it, it's nothing. I'm sure I'm just reading too much into the situation. Well, time to get moving. Ha ha ha. Nil! Mobilizing your troops again, are you? Well, you're too late. Fly, my masters of the sky. Finish off these surviving troops, then destroy the metal from Nil's unit. I see my fears were well founded. He's got bombers and fighters too. This is bad. All of our units that were deployed here have been decimated. If we don't stop all of here, it'll push on or cause even more damage. This is a major turning point. We must be strong. First, let me tell you about a new unit which has been assigned to you. You've seen plenty of medium tanks, so you know how to use them, right? Against other ground units, they're practically unstoppable. But, as we've just seen, they're helpless against bombers. Okay, now let's look at the anti air unit. Let's see what he can do. Select this one, please. This battlecopter is in the perfect spot. Attack it. That's what anti-air units can do. You can see how overwhelmingly powerful they are against air units. Plus, against ground units, mats and infantry in particular, they are more effective than tanks. I heard tanks will defeat them in head-to-head -head combat. Now you understand anti-air units, I'll let you take command. Do you want some strategic advice? Nah, I'll think I'll be fine. Well, okay, I'll give you some advice. It appears that the fighters and bombers don't have much fuel or ammunition. I was nervous at first, but it looks like we may get through this after all. With air units, you have to watch how much fuel they have. I already told you that copters use two fuels per day. The other eight units, fighters and bombers, use five per day. If they run out, they crash and their units are lost. Try to make the most of this intel. Let's talk more on strategy after the bombers and fighters are gone. Good luck. I'm counting on you. So, as you can see here, their ammo and fuel supply are blinking here. We have an icon that tells us they have low on fuel and low on ammo. Uh, right now, we still have a lot, but trust me, by burning fiber per day, they will run out really fast. And plus, they have to move, and every time you move, you waste one fuel. At this point, there's nothing really we can do except advancing our troops forward. Oh, I think I'm going to put my... Uh, here. You go over here. Uh, one of you has to go in the transport. Uh, the other one can take the copter as well. Alright, uh, you go up here. Um, yeah, supply, I guess. Um, p -p 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 this guy, on the other hand, uh, is a f it's impossible, he can't even attack me. Why not here? There we go. You guys all go up. Uh, the tank is in the way. There you go. Whoop. And whoop. And all of it's up to you. This map is not bad, but you have to put some thought into it. When it will go down that road. Okay, so now, this guy has zero fuel. And this guy has one fuel. So one fuel, that means he can only move one square. And he can attack only this section. And this guy, he can't do anything. So they will run out of fuel. Actually, this this one has already run out, but it doesn't die until the next turn starts. They will die on the, on the next turn, so you'll see. You'll see how that works. 
So that's one thing with the air units. You need to keep, uh, you need to pay attention. Oh, uh, wait, no, let me think about this first. Uh, okay, I can send you in. You're a problem. APC can bait. Mm. Right, let's do this. So I was trying to say, air units have this little downside. They waste fuel every day. Especially the, the planes. They waste five every day. The, the copters are not that... that much of a concern. But holy shit, the planes are. Especially with when there are maps that last forever. Those five units per day, they do pile up, trust me. And, and eventually you start seeing the low on fuel thing, and you're like, ah, oh, crap. It's about to crash. So you have to rush an APC there if you can. And when you can't, that's the problem. Um... I guess you'll drop you. Ah, I can move there now. Wait a minute. I'll move the tank first. Uh, you, I can do this. Drop you in there. Uh, I might have made some mistakes that would, may cost me a day here. Uh, I guess... Infantry have nothing to do at this point. They, they, they can just go up and follow. Now look at this. Bye bye. So what I'm worried about here is the mats and the copter. The copter will attack my copter. It's bad. Uh, that's really not preferred. I needed the copter at full HP. There's no way I can recover. Flying units do not recover in towns. They need airports, and there's no airport here to help me out. Crap, crap, crap. All right, get out of there first. And I'll have to take you down. Oh, well, this will take a little bit more. I I shouldn't have moved the uh, the, tr the B copter in the range of the enemy B copter, but what's done is done. All right, say goodbye to that guy. Trying to capture that town before me? How dare you? It's my town also. It's my town. How do you dare? How do you? How you dare get my town before me? I mean, before me. It's my town. You just don't capture it. You, you don't do that. That's bad manners. Okay, that's gonna do a lot of damage. One. Yeah. Okay, now what I really need to worry about is this guy. But he can move in and close some of my slow, some of the squares, and I have to keep attention which squares are under that thing under that thing range. Oh, as long as he doesn't move, I'm fine. Uh, and now let's do this. Going there. You move on. Uh, you move into this guy actually, and you block this. N not necessarily. So this guy's probably gonna run away. Let's see. He's running. Okay, he's being dumb as usual, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, this is not gonna kill it though. Hmm. Uh, but I have an idea. This tank is kind of blocking my way. Because I can't move anything while this guy is here. But my 3 HP copter is still able to take down a 1 HP tank, it's fine. Alright, now my way is open. We can go with our tanks, we can go with our anti-air! Yeah, let's do it on anti-air. Actually, not from there. Because the match could potentially attack me. Anti-airs are weak to tanks and matches. M matches, not that much! But it's, the matches still have the uh, stupid... Oh, the, what's my call it? The bazookas! So they can still are the anti-air, although it's it's kind of a gamble when you use a match against an anti-air, because the anti-air is strong against them as well. Uh, you know, you gotta know when when to do that. But just know that it's it's a, it's a possible strategy. That's all I'm, I'm saying. Um, you, you try to be in the way. There you go. And drop a match in front of you. Uh, don't go into the mountains, you'll be targeted immediately. Alright, let's see. Alright, that's... 
That's okay. Everything's working as planned. I guess since I don't have much to use to you, uh, I'll just attack the tank and finish him off. Boom. Alright, finish up this match. Doing the opposite instead. Doing the this opposite here, uh, using an anti-air against the match is actually preferable. You're doing a lot of damage, you're probably gonna kill the mats before he even has a chance to strike you. So, now it's this guy, the problem. This guy is the problem. It's the big problemo. Hmm. I can, I can do chip damage? With the artillery? I'll try to do that, let's see. Alright, well, I move in my maid. Yeah, let's do that. I think that might work. Just might. Uh, I don't need you. I don't need you guys. I'm not going to capture anyway. Yeah, sure, shoot that. Shoot it. As long as I don't kill it, that's fine for me. Good. Ah, oh, it's in a forest now. Three damage? Four! Okay, uh, I wasn't expecting four damage. That's okay. You do that. At this point, I can just put something here for you to chew on. And... Guess I'll just start moving in with shit. Thirty-three. Go ahead. He he can't counterattack anyway. He's gonna recover two HP, but that's one HP in total. And my mid is moving in. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Now he's going to attack something. Probably my copter. Yeah, figured I would attack the copter, but what is he gonna do really? Three damage. Well. Wow. He got out of range of my of my end here. That's no problem though. There really is no problem. Look, I got my mid here. Ready to trash you. Ah that that's not that that doesn't kill it. Alright, so there's one HP. No big, no biggie, no biggie. I can still win. Uh I don't think this works. Nine damage could kill it, but let's just be sure and use a tank. Ah, oh, crap! I pushed it in the range of the artillery. I'm dumb. But I should have. I, there was no way I wasn't doing that. Uh, you attack the artillery, though. And tier is still good against artillery, not gonna lie. Not that much against tanks, but against artillery and another ranged unit that we still have to see, it's, it's okay. -ish. Okay? So if. Our anti airs are pretty versatile. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's it. The advantage of the anti airs is that they use that they they have a spec they have a uh, a unique weapon. It's called a Vulcan minigun, and no matter if it's an air unit, a tank, or an infantry, they're always going to use that. It runs out of ammo, so. You gotta keep attention. You gotta keep in mind that he only shoots like eight times, but still, he can use the same thing that he uses against the anti-air against tanks or art artillery in this case, which makes it a pretty powerful unit. Anti-airs are good. Well, we've learned that all of us ready these bombers and fighters. The fact that he had no clue about keeping them supplied saved us. Good luck in the next battle. Keep up the good work. We forgot to refuel the fuel tanks? What are you fools thinking? Is that hard to refuel an aircraft? Ugh, just wait until next time. You did well, Fado. Not that good on speed, but still an A rank.
And now we have air defense. Rockets and missiles are included in this briefing on interred combat units. My superiors have really been dropping the ball lately. The enemy already has fighters and bombers, but it appears that we don't. But I did arrange to have some experimental missiles assigned to you. And I also got you some rockets. With all you've done, Pharaoh, is the least they could do. Seems that the enemy always has superior units deployed, I apologize. Anyway, it's time to move out. You've assembled a pretty well-balanced army. It looks like the enemy bombers have plenty of fuel and ammunition this time. If you don't take them out, they'll do lots of damage to your units. But since they are across the sea, you can't easily attack them. This is where missiles come in handy. Let's see what they can do. Select this unit. Missiles can fire on air units from a distance. Units that are 3 to 5 spaces away fall within their range. Press the A button to open the command menu. That's right, fire! See? Missiles can even take out bombers. Since they don't engage directly like anti-air units, they don't take damage. However, they can't fire right after moving. Your main focus is to draw units within their attack range. It's smart to use them in conjunction with anti-air units. Now let's test our rockets. Select this unit. Rockets are basically powered up artillery. They have the same attack range as missiles. 3 to 5 spaces. Now open the command menu. Okay, we have two targets here. Uh, I don't know what I want to go for. I guess the mid-tank is the more, more dangerous. Let's go with the mid-tank. Artillery can do the same damage. <laughs> That's good. They don't do as much damage as missiles, but it's not too shabby. The greatest advantage of indirect combat units is that they don't take damage. But with artillery, they take heavy damage from direct attacks, so you have to protect them. One more thing about the missiles and rockets. Their movement is classified as tire movement. This is similar to tread movement, but the difference is clear on flat terrain. Select terrain on a unit and press the R button for more details. I'm going to leave the rest up to you. Any strategic advice? No, thank you. Okay, I know you do it. Don't, I don't need to tell you anything more. Why don't you see how quickly you can clear this map? 10 days is a good benchmark, but if you're really good, you could do it in 5. Is that a challenge? You're challenging me? In Advance Wars? I'm not really that good of a player, but <laughs> I'll try. I'll try 5 days, man. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Uh, okay, so. So we have this bomber here. It's a potential threat for our missiles, so we gotta protect them. We gotta protect our missiles and we gotta protect our rockets. Also, these two guys are coming over here. Hmm. There's a lot of things to think about here. Hmm. 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 Okay, can't move the B-copter. Since if I do that, my missiles will be blasted. And my rockets, by the way. Sorry, the rockets. Alright, I, rem I remembered once how to start this map really well. I totally forgot. This D-copter needs to bait something. I think. Um, okay, I have an alpha of an idea by looking at these ranges. I'm, uh, okay, I uh, only have one idea here. This one. Okay, that's the range. So this guy is definitely going for the APC. I'm not so sure about this guy though. This guy has two choices. It's either the B-copter or the APC. It could go for the APC. And what I need to do... I think I need to move you here. Move you here. No. The T-copter. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Technically, we don't need this guy. Hmm, but I don't think a big copter can take him out in one hit. It's very unlikely, so I'm just gonna put it here. That's gonna draw the attention of my uh B copters. Uh B copters, although B copters are weird, they will attack the copters over over APCs. As uh, yeah, as fighters will do. No, actually no, B copters only, because fighters cannot attack ground units. Fuck. Really bad thing to... Uh, okay. 
think I have an alpha idea here. I don't know how well this is going to work though. You can still attack. This guy is going to kill an infantry. And then we're gonna work from there. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, on ground, on the ground side. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for the enemy here. I don't wanna rush this map too, too hard. Okay, say goodbye to the infantry. You served your country well. You will be remembered! Maybe. Okay, I called that. I called that two years ago. Crap, you killed it! I didn't know! A B copter can one shot a T copter? Ah! Oh. I thought it was gonna leave it like one HP. Ah! Oh. Oh, that hurts! Well, let's do it anyway. So you, take down the bomber. We have the B copter clash within each other, and then the anti-air is gonna go down, kill the other copter. At that point, we've done much, much, most of the work. Okay, you're dead. Bye. Bye-bye. There you go. Nine to three. Rockets up. Destroyed. That tank, though. This tank here. Hmm. What about you? Oh, you want to come closer? Yeah, do. Come closer. I'll see what happens if you try to come a little bit closer. You get blasted to smithereens, I'll tell you. Uh, crap. Oh, uh, it was only at 3 HP. I thought he had 10 for some reason. And it got scared. That mid tank is gonna die. Badly. <laughs> poor mid tank. <laughs> poor, poor mid tank. It's gonna take so much damage. My artillery first. Like, it's weird. Hang on, let me see something. Okay, it, it it might be able to do one more point of damage because I, what I saw before in the first shot of the rocket the, at the beginning of the mission, they did five damage on a mid tank on road, and that's weird because basically the artillery does the same. So the rocket, it, it might have looked like that the rocket does just have more range, but it was actually fifty five. So it was either five or six points of damage. Well, the artillery is five points of damage every time. Uh. Okay, I have an alpha idea here. Uh, you finish off this guy. Rockets and my copter will attack the tank. But I don't think how much damage you're doing here. Thirty nine. Rockets and they're going to die. There is no way they survive this. Yeah, 70 damage. So yeah, rockets see further than artillery. Uh, look at this. They also have a high, a bigger blind spot nearby. Two squares instead of one. But that's basically all there is to them. Uh, they are a little bit more powerful than artillery. And usually, between the two, they are the best choice. But, yeah. Unfortunately, this map will go on a little bit more than it would expect it. Because I have to, I have to win by Wipeout. There's no way I'm bringing someone over to this to this HQ. Which is unfortunate. Because we lost my we lost the T-Copter. Uh, can we make it there? No, we cannot. I'll just backtrack, I guess. Ah, oh, I should have used the rockets. Nah. I can use the rockets to blast the little soldiers. Ammo? Three. Okay, I guess you can blast one. And then we're just gonna move in with our mid-tank. 
At this point, the main thing is unstoppable. Only have matches and infantry to deal with. He's going to be fine. And I'll bring up this artillery here for good measure. This copter? I guess why not? Did I make a bad choice? No. For for a second I thought the, the math was going to attack with the bazooka, but no, the bazooka only works on vehicles. That, that's not considered like land vehicles, not air vehicles. So they suck against my T-copter. They can't do a uh, B-copter. They can't do anything. Still have two shots. All right. Let's see. Maybe we can finish it this turn. What day is it? Day five. Are we going to make the? T are we going to finish the challenge? Now said. Oh, you have to finish in five days. Oh, uh, no, it's impossible. I don't have enough units. Crap! I will finish on day six. If this ain't here, we're closer. I would have make it, but nah. Nah, it's impossible. This guy. Wait, wait. Is it? Is it? Hang on. Is it? Gotta play my cards well here. Mid tank can attack that. You can attack only one. Okay, you have only one target, so might as well. All right, you. It is possible. You attack that. Mid tank attacks. What's on the right? And big copter finishes the last soldier. There you go, Nell. As planned, five days. You say? I execute. <laughs> well done, keep up the good work. Ugh, I never had a chance this time. Nell, just wait until next time. Victory goes to Faro. Ah, uh, technique sucked. Uh, technique wasn't full. Uh, I lost one unit too much. Too many. Too many too much? Uh, Handle the matter. <laughs> All right. That was a little bit longer episode than usual. Next time we'll have dogfights, but that's it for this episode. See you guys next time.